Randy, most of the way through Oshkosh 2016, we've only got a couple days left, but we're saving some of the best for last. There's a new Rams in S21. So what does the S21 bring that the 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 30, yeah, didn't bring? It's a high wing all metal uh, with a chromoly steel cage. It can be configured trike or tail dragger. The chromoly steel cage runs from the firewall to what we call the station three bulkhead which is the bulkhead just behind the seats. And that allows you to build the aircraft very precise and very fast. And on top of that, it also allows you to have a nice, safe crest structure. It's two seat, but uh, we're trying to go by with about 200 pound baggage capacity. A lot of volume back there. I think it's 23 something cubic feet. Okay. What kind of performance parameters are you trying to hit? We want to be stalling just below 40 with full flaps and idle power and running about 75%, uh, 155 mile per hour. It's gonna be based around the Titan XO340, which I believe they claim 180 horse. Who is the owner builder of an S21? It started from me just wanting that capacity personally, because uh, I fly so much distance anymore. I want something a little bit better ride uh, and a little higher cruise speed. Of course, having more payloads is not gonna hurt us. What does the development program look like from here? When do you expect to see the airplane in the air and available to your builders? Well, you know aviation is famous for predicting exact deadlines and meeting them. Oh, absolutely, down to the second. Uh, we're, we're, we're a matter of months, the program should be flying and then delivery cycle will be quite brisk after that since a lot of the components in this uh, program are already flying and in production. You are mentioning a faster build. What's going to be involved and roughly how long to build? 500 hours or less, and that's because it is a very simple design. I've tried to keep part count down, and the parts arrive very pre-finished. A lot of people ask about quick build on it. We're kind of hesitant to say we'll have one because we think it will be one. If you look at the design closely, you'll see the wing is unique for a metal wing. It's I don't know if you're familiar with the Luscombe, but it has a double spar in oh, it yeah. with a truss across, picking up a single strut. Mm -hmm. And we're doing something similar to that. Our leading edge spar is a big extrusion shaped like a D. And the D side of the straight side of the D is our I-beam that makes our spar. And of course, the curved side is the leading edge. And that makes uh, making the metal wing easy because now you have relatively, uh, relatively two flat sheets you're riveting down to ribs very easy target to hit when you're not making a leading edge uh, sheet preformed and less delicate for the home builder to build. So it's fun stuff actually. We're also touting that this is a no paint airplane. Typically in a kit like this, like the steel cage may not be powder coated, that's standard. Also all the steel parts to the control system, rudder pedal, weldments, and engine mount. All those little bits and pieces like that will be powder coated, so you don't have to corrosion proof those parts out of the box. You're ready to go. And so the that, big question, how much? It's very reasonable. We're looking at 18000 for what we call the basic airframe kit. Okay. And that will build a shell of an aircraft with the landing gear legs with no wheels or brakes. And then you can either buy our finishing kit total or go a la carte on picking through it. To select things because a lot of our customers are repeat offenders and uh, they have stuff laying around their shops and why not utilize it if you can. Alrighty Randy we thank you so much nice to see yet another design come out of the uh, the Rands works. Aero TV is brought to you by with over 15,000 experimental and light sport aircraft already equipped Dynon is the avionics leader for light aircraft. Through EAA's breakthrough STC for the Dynon EFIS D10A, every GA pilot will soon have access to affordable avionics upgrades to their type certificated aircraft. For more information, go to www.dynon.aero STC. Alpha Systems AOA products are available for experimental, pressurized, and certified aircraft. President Mark Corrin notes that there is nothing more rewarding than designing a product that helps save someone's life. To see how Alpha Systems AOA technology can make you a safer pilot, check out www.alphasystemsaoa.com.